In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert any image format into JPG or any other format you want on Mac. Welcome back to the Headbot channel. We come up that there are several image formats used on a daily basis, and different devices, websites, software support produce and work with different image formats. For example, the iPhone workflow works with HEC. I mean it works with other formats as well, but it likes HEC the most. And then there is WEP, which is an image format designed specifically for the internet. And then professional photography works with different versions of raw image formats. And then we haven't even talked about the design world where there is PNG, TFF, PSD, and many more. Now you may wonder why are there so many different image formats? Well, because each of them has different functions and attributes. For example, PNG can handle transparent backgrounds, has a good compression rate, and is widely supported. And then there is a web, like I mentioned, it was designed specifically for the internet. Raw image formats contain the most data. That's why professionals use that image from it when it comes to photography, because then they can work on them later on a much higher level. However, I think the most commonly known and used image format is JPEG or JPG. Everything supports it, and it produces manageable file sizes. So if you have to choose one image format to back up and store all your photos in, then it should be JPG. And in this video, I'm going to show you a few ways to turn your non-JPG images into JPG. Let's do it. First, I'm going to show you a universal method that you can use on basically any devices. There are many online image converters available, so when I have to convert one image format to the other, in this case, something into JPG, I just usually search for it. Let's say adjective to JPG, and I just go with one of the first results, basically all of them will do the job. So it doesn't really matter which one you go with. On a site like this, what you have to do is to upload the images. And hit convert, and then download them, and basically that's it, it's really easy. So there are many converters available online. And these converters work perfectly as long as you have internet. However, if you're looking for a professional image converter, then I recommend the HitPod Video Converter. It supports all image formats, and it can convert images in bulk, which means that you can convert multiple images at the same time. Find all the essential links in the description below. So once you download it, it open it up and let's see how it works. From the tools menu on the top, select the image converter and then import your images. In the button here, select an output format for all images, which is JPG in our case. When you're done with the settings, select an output folder on Convert All. And that's it, it's a very easy to use and powerful tool and it makes image converting easier than ever. But those were our tips on JPG converting. I hope you found the useful information in this video. And if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna see you in the next video.